Hi Taurus, welcome to SoapQuest. I'm Spence. This is a weekly reading for you guys for the week of October 18th through the 24th. I'm using two gorgeous decks for you today. This is the Crystal Visions Tarot and that's by Jennifer Galasso. And the Oracle of Seven Energies by Colette Baron reed with the art of Jenna Della Grotalia. So gorgeous decks and I love them so much. Now I want to say this is a pretty intense week. We are still in Libra season. It's the last week of Libra season. At the end of the week, we're going to move actually into Scorpio season. But for the last week of Libra season, just as Libra had a, their new moon two weeks ago, now their opposite axis, Aries, is having the full moon. So Aries' full moon is about self. Libra is about others. The full moon is about a culmination and enlightening awareness of what it is that is complete what it is that we can enlighten ourselves to let go of, right? To shed. It's emotional. It's an emotional transmutation, right? That's what we go through every single month. Just like the moon moves the tides, it moves us as well. So it's an emotional transformation every month. But this month, there is a T-square, <laughs> the sun, the moon, and Mars, and not only that, I want to say, that's, by the way, the square in Pluto. Pluto is about transformation, power, empowerment, power struggles. But also, on the 18th, before the full moon, on Monday, we've got Jupiter, the higher mind, and Mercury, the human mind, moving forward, out of retrograde. So, two more planets moving forward out of retrograde. And those are about how we think and how we reason and how we d d discuss and have communication. So all that's kind of helping us to move forward to change our lives in a way that um, allows for more authenticity and honesty and fairness, right? Libra. So it's, you know, living and let living kind of energy. But because Mars is involved in the T-square is usually tension, um, arguments can happen, especially people who aren't necessarily aware of what they're feeling or why. So I said in the Aries video, and it's interesting because I think it's going to be a theme for all the videos this week. If you were to interview yourself, right, think about, you know, Mercury, the human mind, and Jupiter, or the collective mind, um, what, would, what questions would you ask yourself about what you're transforming and why? What questions, right, if you were interviewed by Barbara Walters or Oprah or anybody, right, who's, who interviews people and helps them to sort of allow their own vulnerability, if you were looking in the mirror, what would you ask yourself about your own transformation, your inner transformation? Would you ask yourself about your fears, about your bravery, about the, your, your communication style? What is it that's transforming for you? And think about those things, right, with the higher mind as well as your human mind to give yourself a higher perspective perhaps, right? So I'm pulling three cards for you now after shuffling. Feeling the world, tender embrace. You are very sensitive right now, it seems, Taurus. Tall tail, I just pulled up for Aries in the same spot interesting. We are really having to tell ourselves the truth about how we feel. So interviewing yourself. What questions would you want an interviewer to ask you about your life story? And how in 2021, this is how I changed my life for the better. This is how I became the person I really wanted to be. This was when I made the decision that led me on my path. Right? What would, the, what would those questions be? And then ask them of yourself. And what would your responses be? If you could tell yourself the truth and you could act out the truth in, with others. If we all did that, you know, we wouldn't feel such dissension, such polarity, such, you know, division and discord with each other. We would all understand that we're doing the best we can, trying as hard as we can to love and live <laughs> and be on this planet and go through the trials and tribulations of being human, right? We would all allow each other to be who we are. 
I'm not talking about anarchy, Taurus. I know you like things to be in order. And I know you work hard for it, but I mean, you know, I'm just talking about personal freedom, right? Pluto is about that. Pluto is about power and freedom. I'm pulling your nine now from the Crystal Visions Tarot. All right, I shuffled out a couple more times and now I'm going to pull from the top after cutting. Okay. Wow, beautiful. Four of Cups, Eight of Cups, Star. It's like you're not sure what you believe about something. Wow. Three big major arcana for you right now, Taurus. I think you do feel this auspicious feeling that things are changing for the better. Maybe a little brightening in your spirit. Maybe you're feeling like, okay, whatever happens, something good's going to come out of it because at least there's going to be change here. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, then bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. This is about our internal feelings, thoughts and feelings that are sort of on the subconscious level. And interestingly enough, what I'm seeing here on the bottom of the deck is, you know, you've really been holding back from and keeping everything very internalized with the two yin, you know, archetypes here of the queens. You know, your fire and your water, your will, your drive, your desire and your emotions. You're keeping all that inside with the four of pentacles. Like you're keeping it in the bank, right? Just to stay safe. So what do you want? Who do you love? How do you feel? And why aren't you expressing it? Okay, Taurus. Yeah, maybe. Because you're certainly feeling it. I think you're very sensitive right now. Maybe you know that it's a time of triggers. Pluto has a tendency to do that with us. That T-square with Pluto is um, an important aspect with the full moon. The full moon is on Wednesday. And it's about releasing. It's about cleansing and clearing and releasing emotional baggage and healing. Because Pluto, you know, Pluto's eighth house, right? It's the planet um, of the eighth house, which is very much our fears and our, our pain body, the wounds, the wounding that we take on and how we work through that our whole lives, right? So you're feeling a lot, and maybe, just maybe, there may be a moment of intimacy this week where you can really share it with us, with someone. Maybe not, maybe you're gonna hold it within, and maybe you're considering one or the other. I think that if you do feel inclined, <laughs> um, to maybe have a little bit of physical intimacy or you feel inclined to just be more affectionate, right? Just to reach out and connect with people. I think that it might be something that scares you because you might actually feel too much and you're worried about the gush. So maybe you're like keeping it just, you know, superficial. You know, a tall tale is, is about the aspect of the Pinocchio story where, you know, he doesn't feel quite real and authentic until he does. So it's about whether or not you can share and embrace your authenticity and share it. This is very much like um, an aspect of the reading I just did for Aries, and I feel like it might come out for all of us because Pluto is intimate. It's eighth house. It is the most intimate. It really is. And it's about how our whole generation, remember, it's, a, it's an outer planet, really far out there. So an entire generation, you know, is, is, is through the, the axis of, of where Pluto travels. Okay, I'm in Mercury retrograde and I can't say what I'm trying to say. Pluto takes a long time. It's an outer planet. It takes a long time, right, to go around the zodiac. So here's the thing. It affects an entire generation. Right now... 
Um, the U.S. is in a Pluto return, and we are going to be going through this kind of revolutionary feelings like we did when our country was born in 1776. Think about that. Hundreds of years. So this is about the revolution, the inner revolution, right, of being your true authentic self and knowing that it feels vulnerable to share that. It feels vulnerable to say, this is how I feel, and this is what I want. That's vulnerable. So let's go across the top. We're going to go horizontal, vertical, and big picture. All right? So four of cups, eight of cups. It's like you have thought about how you feel, and then other times you avoid thinking about how you feel. Four of cups. It's when we're in emotional neutral and we can't really go there emotionally too deeply. It's like, well, we'll take it out for, you know, from off the shelf and think about it for a few minutes and then we put it back because it gets a little uncomfortable. We walk away from our feelings. So we all, it's, it, this is to me apathy and you don't want that anymore. You, you want to feel hopeful. You're right. You don't want to be in the Four of Cups anymore. You don't want to feel like you want to avoid feelings at all and walk away from it. You want to feel hopeful. You want to feel trusting. You want to feel like you can have faith in life. Like you can go for that Ninth Cup. You want to dream. You want to be inspired. Okay, let's go. So the star is a major arcana card, and the star is one of the most beautiful cards in the deck, and it says to have hope and faith no matter where the path takes you emotionally, okay? This is about your emotions, feeling everything. This is about sharing those feelings or avoiding them and not sharing them, which feels inauthentic to yourself and others. So it's about opening up and embracing your emotions. When I say emotions too, feelings are what we feel internally. Emotions are what we do with it. How we, you know, energy in motion, e-motion. How we express our emotions. So, can you do that with others and feel comfortable? Or does it feel inauthentic because you're not really sharing much? So, you know, earth signs are a little bit, you know, more nose to the grindstone, get the job done. They take care of things in the real, tangible world, right? In the real, real. Emotions are just so fluid for, for earth signs sometimes. So, if this has been an issue for you, I mean, you've got four of cups, eight of cups, a couple, you know, another cup card, queen of cups, Taurus, you're going to be in your fields for this full moon. And with Pluto, you're also going to, and Mars, you know, <laughs> squaring Mars, you could get fired up. And if you've held it within for too long and you haven't told your true feelings to whomever you need to, you know, this is the energy where it's like the, it's the energy of too much pressure, pressure cooker, that it could be explosive. It could be atomic. <laughs> Right? With Mars and Pluto. So let's go through the next line. Justice. You want to be absolutely fair to yourself so that you can tell the truth about how you feel, but also to others. So take the risk. That's what these cards say. Justice fool. That you have the right to take the risk to be yourself. To try to start to share and speak about your feelings in a different way. It feels risky to talk about it, to tell the absolute truth, King of Swords. It feels risky, but it's the right thing for you. It's the right thing for all of us to talk about it. But we don't want to talk about it when we're in the situation of feeling like we can't really say what we want to say. So we sugarcoat it a little bit, <laughs> put lipstick on the pig, you know, and we just, it's like that. It's like you don't want to be inauthentic. You want to tell the truth, but you want to be kind. So here's some advice. That's what I'm seeing on the bottom row. 
four, if I can hold the cards, four of swords, this is like, take a minute, take a minute to yourself. The four of swords is usually the, the soldier who comes in after battle. The three of swords before was, you know, being hurt in the battle. The fourth sword is he lays down on the bed, he takes his rest, his respite, his recovery, right? This is me last week, I'm like, okay, I need time. Um, and recovering from it, recovering from the difficulty and getting peace of mind, getting back to the state where he's okay again, right? Where he's not in trauma, he's not worried, he's not in fear, he's not in battle, he's not, you know, it's just peace of mind, okay? Peace of mind, get your peace of mind, and then the new beginning, right? With the fool right above that. Taking the risk to offer this Ace of Cups, your true feelings, and keeping it in a slow and steady and balanced kind of flow and ease. This is about thinking and feeling and sharing it with ease. If you need time away to pray, to relax, to get zen, to meditate before you offer this cup of love, this is a new beginning. A new way to feel, a new feeling that you can share, vulnerability perhaps, that it's okay to share it slow and steady, easy peasy. It doesn't have to be dramatic, but there is... There's a change here. There's, there's something that is transforming about the way that you share your feelings. Okay? Whatever, you, whatever you've been keeping inside, your true desire, okay? True desire and your true heart that you've been holding on, keeping inside. By the way, for some of you, if these are people, if these are actually people in your life, a potentially a fire sign and a water sign or if it's not a fire or water sign fire Leo Sagittarius Aries or water would be uh, Scorpio Pisces uh, and cancer um, if it's not one of those signs then it's somebody exhibiting the element so this is somebody fiery dynamic right woohoo a leader this is somebody who's sensitive and tender and poetic and you know that way so if this is two people and you're keeping that hush hush because you don't know how you feel and or which one you want you know if you're dating then that might be something that you need to deal with and tell yourself the darn truth about it who do you want this tender embrace to be with if that's what this is about if you're trying to decide between people but more importantly, Taurus, this week is going to be about the transformation of how you actually share your feelings. So down the vertical, Four of Cups, you haven't wanted to really think about how you feel. But justice, you know it's the right thing to do. You need to. But first, get right within your head. Tell yourself the absolute truth so you can relax and be at ease. Have peace of mind about how you feel. So you can be authentic. You know, that justice card is about telling the truth and being fair. Be it fair to yourself, but fair to others. Eight of Cups. If this is about a relationship, is did someone walk away? Or is someone considering walking away and starting all over again with a fool and taking the risk? Or is this just about not avoiding your feelings altogether and taking the risk to actually show them and offer that Ace of Cups a new beginning? So if someone's been unemotional, or yeah, not unemotional, but emotionally unavailable is what I wanted to say. That Ace of Cups could be a new beginning where you actually truly share your feelings with each other. Being emotionally available. Okay? Star. Because you're very hopeful about something about this Ace of Cups, right? There's love here, that Ace of Cups, and the fool is a new chance at it. With the King of Swords, it's talking. It's saying, make the decision and talk about it. Have the conversation because it could go really well with the Star and Knight of Pentacles. Be nice and easy. This is ease. Faith 
and trust that being completely authentic with the sort of truth, standing in your truth, speaking your truth, will bring you ease. Can you see that? So that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus, and I hope that you do get into that state of ease because holding it inside, whether it's a decision about who you love or how much you love someone, no matter what it is that you need to say to someone, this is about doing it with ease and not keeping it in the pressure cooker anymore. Because if you keep it in the pressure cooker, a week like this could be a week where things really explode. So Taurus, I wish you the best. I wish you kindness, reverence, and gratitude. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today, and I hope to see you next week. Thanks a lot.